Vampire bats give blood. Hippos can't swim. Surprise! The sex of an alligator egg is predictable. If eggs are laid in a warmer area, most hatchlings will be male. However, if the eggs remain cooler, the hatchlings will be mostly female. Temperature-dependent sex determination occurs in many reptiles and even fish. Hippos can't swim. Rhinos can. In deep water, hippos simply walk along the riverbed. Hippos are very comfortable underwater. They use the floor of the river to propel themselves, and can hold their breath for several minutes. Whilst mostly on land, rhinos are also very comfortable in water. They are excellent swimmers and can even dive for food. The spotted hyena. Do you think you could differentiate the males from the females? It's not so easy. Female spotted hyenas urinate, copulate, and even give birth through a pineal-like clitoris. Good luck. What's so surprising about penguins? Well, how about the fact that penguins pee through their nipples? What? While birds only have one waste exit, their cloaca, penguins also excrete urine through their nipples. There are roughly 12 million penguins who call Antarctica home. Vampire bats practice reciprocal altruism. If a vampire bat does not feed for two nights in a row, it can starve to death. Individuals within the colony can regurgitate blood to the bats who missed feeding. However, bats remember who gives and who refuses. They practice tit for tat. Bats who share, are more likely to receive when in need, and selfish bats in need are more likely to be denied. One might not think there's anything special about a simple wood frog. Wood frogs inhabit the northernmost parts of North America. Extreme winters are common in their habitat. The body of a wood frog can withstand being frozen for months without damage. As temperatures drop, urea and glucose are pumped throughout the frog's body to serve as a natural antifreeze. The frog can survive as much as 65% of the water in its body being frozen. As the warmer temperatures arrive in spring, the frog's respiration and heartbeat will resume. This is a myotonic goat. Myotonia congenita is an inherited disorder that causes a delay in muscle relaxation after an involuntary movement, such as the reaction one would have after being startled. When startled, the goat may take several initial steps before the muscles become flexed in one position, causing it to fall over. Goats with this condition, happily, are otherwise healthy and can live a normal life. Some species of birds and marine mammals can sleep just half of their brain at a time. Unihemispheric slow wave sleep, or USWS, allows an animal to remain alert while also resting. Birds can do this while perched, or in flight. One eye will close, corresponding to the opposite side of the brain at rest, while the other eye and brain hemisphere remain alert. When USWS is practiced in flight, it has been discovered that the individuals along the perimeter of a flock will keep the outward facing eye open, presumably to stay alert to predators. Other species of birds exhibiting USWS include the common blackbird, mallards, peregrine falcons and even the domestic chicken. Considering marine mammals. In contrast, within a school of dolphins the individuals along the perimeter will keep the inward eye open presumably to help with remaining in formation. Other marine mammals who have been discovered practicing unihemispheric slow-wave sleep include whales, seals, and sea lions. Could a monkey go underwater? Some species of monkeys, including the macaque and proboscis are very comfortable underwater. Macaques are omnivorous, eating a variety of plants and animals. They eat leaves fruit, bark, seeds, 
frogs, lizards, birds and fish. In the mangrove swamps of Indonesia, macaques have adapted a proficiency at diving for crabs and other crustaceans. Yum! <laughs>